back with part two of our graded card returns. This is the last submission that's currently logged in PSA right now. We're finally getting, or I guess uh, that means we're, we're all straight with PSA. No more cards waiting there. Uh, like I said, they're planning to open up some services in July. And when that time comes, my God, guys, like so many cards, so many cards. I don't even, I don't even think you guys can like begin to comprehend like what we got going on in the works here. Like we, we got so much shit on the way. And I have so much oh, man. Pokemon too. And now. Cole, so oh man, you guys are going to have to check out Cole's store. He'll going to, oh, he's going to have a lot of stuff listed as well. So, I mean, check out what he's got available. He's going to have vintage stuff. So yeah, guys, like Marvel real shit. Marvel eventually. <laughs> Whatever that comes. Okay, so we were we were getting somewhere with tag teams. Uh, I don't know if I was like covering up the grade last time, but let's uh, let's kind of do that this time. Do the reveal at the end. Oh. So just the full art, Reshiram and Zekrom. We have this in PSA ten in Japanese, but for English, it got a nine. So that seems to be how it works when it comes to grading cards. And uh, next up. We got a Loop Bunny and Jigglypuff full art. This is not the alternate art. The alternate art looks pretty sick, but you know, it's still a tag team and a full art. So pretty dope, it gets the nine. Okay, not bad. What an interesting pair. Yeah, I know. Like Jigglypuff on its own is a weird one to have in a tag team. Mm -hmm. Oh, interesting. Okay, so now we got some alternate art. So we got the Zorark and Greninja alternate art, beautiful card. You know, this wasn't in the first batch. I sent off a lot of alternate art cards and tag teams the first time around, but this one didn't have as pristine of condition. So it had a little whitening and, you know, I thought it was gonna get an eight and it got an eight. So that's the reason behind that, but pretty sweet card nonetheless. I am collecting alternate art. So, I mean, I can't sell those unless I get duplicates. And then next up, we got the Muck in the Muck. I, oh, oh so man. Good. So this is the card where it's coming out of the storm drain. And it just, <laughs> it's just such a sweet card. I pulled this myself and I got a nine. It's like the old uh, Peeping Tom Grimer. Oh, that's yeah. Yeah, that's right. Like, imagine if they had, like, some silhouette of somebody walking by as the Grimers are, like, poking their head out. That would have been, like, a, great a third, third level of dimension into that art mm -hmm. and moving up next we got some promos this one did not make the last submission only because i forgot to like add an extra quantity and it got a 10 oh. so all these promos were so easy to grade everybody who picked up the premium collection box with Raquaza is like hyped right now i think the the full kit of it like with the statue and everything is selling for like six hundred dollars or something maybe more which is ridiculous and up next oh man oh man i'm very happy to get as many of these cards as possible for the promos because this is everybody loves this card yeah. I, I haven't i haven't heard anyone like say anything less oh yes didn't your japanese one get a three yeah okay where, where did i put those actually i think i that's them like ingrained in my memory. <laughs> yeah, so speaking of that, our Japanese version got a three. Excuse that indent there. I was just kind of fucking with the case to see if I could do something with it, pop it open or whatever. But these are fucking solid. But it did have a printing defect on the side there, which explains the graded three. But it's not a crease or anything. It's just like the way the card just kind of settled. Like maybe they had too much card and then it like got a little funky in the drying process. But I think if I send this to BGS as like some misprint or something like that, they might give it like a eight or a nine, but as an error with yeah. the with the defect on the side. So PSA is a little weird about their grading sometimes, but without despite their inconsistencies, there is still like uh, a lot of, uh, I don't know, there's a reason behind everything. This time though, I don't know what the fuck went on. I was talking to some dude on Instagram and PSA apparently believes that these white details or something on the card was damaged or if the hollow came off the card, but that's just not the case. It's the art. So I got like a five on this for no reason. 
So I'm gonna have to resubmit this, maybe even resubmit this to BGS or something, because it's a flawless car. The, it was sold to me as mint, I inspected it, but yeah, this was the other, the other dud from the last submission. And speaking of duds or cards that should have been duds, this next card is an enigma. It's fucking confusing. I don't understand how we got here. And let me show you. So we got the Rainbow Darkrai, but on the back, wait a minute. Is it on the bottom? Which card am I thinking of? Uh, it might be this card, but like it has like the weirdest cut to it. Oh yeah, there you go. You can kind of see, but there's like blade marks on the whole edge. And I gave it a nine. <laughs> That's impressive. Like, I guess like since despite the indentation or the blade edge or whatever the defect on that is, I guess it wasn't enough to be considered whitening or a crease. So, you know, they gave it to me. If you want to look at that, Cole, that's kind of confusing. You're, it's the top edge on the back. Oh yeah. my God. Okay. Oh, yeah. Okay. I know, I'm I looked a little sad too. about this, but. The I mean, centering makes sense. The centering kind of, yeah, but I, I would have loved this as a 10 because, you know, it sells for like five, $600 as a 10, but as a nine, it's probably only like 200 bucks. So the back was pretty flawless, maybe a white dot in the corner. And then the centering is a little shoved down. But I thought the centering would have been good enough to sneak by with a 10, but maybe they're seeing something that I don't. When I first looked at it, it looked like they sealed it on the edge a little bit, but it was... Like, yeah, you know, they can uh, kind of like... <laughs> they can sink into the sides there. I don't know if that's a... Yeah, but yeah. All right. Well, for the highlight of my submission, I got the Poncho Pikachus graded. I paid probably like $100 per card. Oh. and starting it off with the Charizard X. Oh, man. Like, I, I at first, I didn't know if I was too interested. I loved the art, but I was wondering why they did this kind of hollow pattern. But if they did the texturing, like, for other cards, you know, maybe it wouldn't come off as clean. Oh, and I got the 10. Just going to go ahead and put you in the background because, you know, guys, this is what um, it's all about. Oh man, so I, I love the holo pattern now that I've been getting comfortable with these cards and they just look so good. Another 10, the two Charizard ones got the 10 and that's what I was kind of stressed about. I'm gonna take that out of the way. Shiny Rayquaza up next. Oh my God, such unreal art. You know, the backs are fresh. That's just a smudge from my hand, but you know, Oh man. oh man, beautiful. That ball too, I love the Pokeball they used. That's I so think that's like a Cherish Ball or something. Uh, it's not one of them, I forget what it's called. I don't think oh. you can get it in any of the games. I remember having a game shark it in. <laughs> okay, so we're halfway there on the ponchos. How are we doing so far? Pretty good? Well, let's just keep them coming. So we got the regular Rayquaza one. You know, same art, but it's a green Rayquaza. Oh, you're right. It is a cherry pull. And it gets a 10. Wow. So that's pretty incredible on its own, but let's see if we can keep it coming. The full set of Poncho Pikachus. You know, the pretty, uh, the sleeper for our last submission, the underrated super value cards we got last time were the tag teams that were released in Japan that didn't release in English, because now those cards individually are like two to $500, and I got them all for like 500 bucks, or not even that, like maybe like 200 bucks or something, and I got them all PSA 10. So that's like super ideal. Oh man. I think the Gyarados one just sold for over $1,000 as PSA 10. Oh man. Fun crap. And yeah, so that literally means we got the whole set, PSA 10. We're gonna have to sleeve up these slabs and like display them. Cause these, these are definitely one of my favorite sets in my collection. These are a grail, a gem. This is so exciting to get all these back in PSA 10. 
So we're getting closer to Cole's cards, guys. I don't know if you guys are ready, but... Still some time out. Oh, some man. I feel like that stack was almost a video worthy of its own. So, you know, we got a Reshiram now. Radiant Collection. Gets the Mint 9, and I'm kind of surprised on this. I thought this was going to... I didn't send it off in the first batch because I was worried it was going to get an 8. But, you know, a little whitening. Maybe a dot on top of the corner there dot up there yeah so this is a weak decent strong nine it's not a strong nine it's a decent nine but radiant collection oh man so we do have some radiant collection cards around here somewhere i don't know i think i'm gonna submit more i'm really happy i got this restaurant it's a really slept on collection a lot oh of those for cards sure are, are cheap i think the charizard is still fairly cheap yeah you know you can get a nine for that charizard for like 100 bucks yeah and that's ridiculous like the art on that's crazy and we're gonna end it off with our tyranitars but this dragon's exalted ho-oh we're getting a little bit older here into the generations this is 2012 now oh man it got an eight. Oh man i'm so sad I should have submitted this with the other Ho-Oh that got a 10, but come on, what are they seeing that I don't? Like, that that's a smudge from the... Yeah, just a slight gap on the top, I guess, compared to the Maybe. bottom, but even then, it's not bad. But like, oh man, what happened in this corner? That's gotta be it. Yeah, I could see why this would get a 9, but an 8, man, after seeing that last card, it kind of baffles me, because I thought that was an 8 for sure, but no. Just move you down. Sorry, bro. Oh, we still have to do this deck. We've only done one stack. Oh yeah, I know, but I don't know if I don't know. If we... <laughs> okay, yeah, you're right. Uh, all right, we're just gonna power I through. It'll be four parts. If we yeah. Reach. You know, let's end it here. Let's let's uh let's Stop uh it. let's wrap it up and draw this out a little longer. Yeah, this was pretty powerful. It'll be a minute. It's gonna heavy. be a minute before we get more PSA cards in. So I think that was a pretty powerful section, as yeah. Cole said there. Yeah. So I got a lot of five five yeah, prime you're, cards you're for fifty ending bucks. It, you're ending it pretty strong. I got five <laughs> primes for fifty bucks, and I was like, you know, they're all eight, nine contenders. Let's just submit them all, right? <laughs> <laughs> Cardboard, calm down. And so we got one as a nine. Oh. An eight, which is good. Oh, I was expecting eights. Like, oh. And another eight. So, so we're gonna start the next video with continuation of the prime cards because there are two more so these uh eights will be for sale and i'm definitely keeping that nine from my prime collection since we're ending it here and not going through another stack another like card company so if we go through my stack here all these level x cards and stuff now we have the prime collection let's just whip out the primes real quick and show you what I got graded already. You have the right shoe? Yeah, you'll see. So we got the Gengar, which is my favorite Gengar of all time. This is so dope. We got the Mew. Yeah. Oh, man. Oh, that's, I love that one. Celebi Prime. I have a couple. I have two very mint copies of this card as well. So I'm going to get that graded in the upcoming submission. The Espeon and the Umbreon. So these are... Pretty expensive now, but I got them for like 50 bucks each. Got the Raichu. Yeah. Oh, man. And even the Ursa Ring. So that's a pretty new one as well. But, you know, these primes are pretty slept on. I got another uh, another nine added to the set, and I couldn't be more happy with how the returns are turning out. So stay tuned for the next episode. Uh, we're getting closer to Cole's cards, and that's, uh, that's where the hype's at. I'm so excited. All right. We'll catch you next time, and we out of here. Peace. Yo, what is up guys? It is lifted and I got my cards back from PSA, so video is coming soon, but I do have a bunch of listings that I'll be posting very soon and you know, this will be a little bit of an overview of what's available. I am interested in trades, so if you have gold stars in PSA 7 or level X cards in PSA 9, uh, feel free to reach out if you're interested in anything here. We got a lot of... Uh, you know, uh, Cosmic Eclipse and Dream League subset trainers, as well as the Crack Dice Cynthia from Ultra Shiny. All fresh slabs from PSA. Uh, just got them back as of recently, and all the expensive ones will definitely be sleeved up. And yeah, so we got Rainbow Rares next. We got 
uh, tag teams. Uh, some of these are English and Japanese. So, yep, the Power Collection box promos as well. We got some shinies. We got the Glaceon and Scizor full art, as well as all these half art shinies from Hidden Fates and uh, Ultra Shiny. We got some Charizards. We got the Dragon Majesty Charizards, a 9 and an 8. And then all those 10 promo Charizards, as well as the Charmeleon with the PSA 10. Uh, we got some gold cards. We got the Lele, the Finny, the Solgaleo, Lunala promos, and the Lunala in Japanese, so that's cool too. Some gold cards, secret rares from Sun and Moon, as well as the amazing uh, Pennywise balloon, I call it. And we do also have some full arts we got the single colored background ones from sun and moon as well as the copperaja <laughs> yikes and then also we have some ultra rares not bad we got the requazas with tens and then zacian and zamazenta promos and then to end it all off we do have a watsi card we got the first edition dark hypno available not bad. And then we also have the PSA 9 Darkrai from the promo for the Blister Packs. And then Level X Magmortar. And then three Tyranitar Primes PSA 8 available. So like I said, uh, if you're interested in trading, I'm looking for Gold Stars and PSA 7. And then, uh, yeah, a few Level X cards and, you know, just reach out. I'm always down to consider offers so if you found anything you like feel free to reach out hopefully this made it a little easy for you just an overview of what my store will have so yeah if you enjoyed leave a like i appreciate it and support and follow all that shit i love you bye